In this short video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, something really useful, which is to download lots of assignments from Google Classroom as a single PDF file, which you can then use to print, mark, or archive for whatever purposes suit you. So the first thing we need to do is install or add a new app to your Google Chrome account called PDF Mergy. To do that, go to Chrome. And once you're in Chrome, simply search for PDF Mergy in Google and then follow this uh, link to it on the Chrome Web Store. Within the Chrome Web Store, you should get this box. Just press Add to Chrome. And then when asked, say yes, you want to add the app. So now PDF Mergy is available in your Google Apps. And if you don't know how to get to your Google Apps, then if you've just got a new tab in Chrome, your apps should be here on the top left. And once you've got into your app view, just click on PDF Mergy. When PDF Mergy loads, you should see this option to drag files that you want to merge. Now, you could actually drag any PDF files from your computer and put them in here to combine them into a single PDF document, which is very, very useful. But in this instance, because they're in Google Classroom, we want to get our files from Google Drive. So click the Select Files from Google Drive button. Now, to get our files from Google Classroom, we have to understand that every single class you have in Google Classroom gets its own folder in a special Classroom folder inside Google Drive. So you can find that in your Google Drive. It helps if you click on the Name column just to sort it by name and go into the Classroom folder. Now normally you should never go in this folder. You should always access your Google Classroom files via Google Classroom. This folder is where Google stores stuff in the background and removing things or editing things from here can get you in a whole heap of mess. But in this one instance, this is the method to use. So each of your classes has its own folder. So you just need to go and find the, uh, the class with the assignment that you wish to download. I'm going to take one from my year seven computing class. Go inside the folder for the class and then you will see a folder for each of the assignments that you've set. Again, I'm going to go into their end of year exam. Now, each of the pupils in the class has their own worksheet, which is now in this folder. And I can select them all by clicking on the top one, scrolling down to the bottom, holding the shift button on my keyboard, and clicking on the bottom one. And now all of the ones from top to bottom have been selected. Press the select button, and PDF Mergy asks you to confirm that these are the ones that you want to merge. Just press the blue merge button when you're happy. PDF Mergy will start importing those files and merging them. And once it's done that, it will prompt you to download the PDF file. This may take a few minutes. Eventually, PDF Mergy will tell you that your merged PDF is ready. And you've got some choices. You can either save the PDF to your computer, which is useful if you just want to get straight to downloading it and printing it, or you can save the PDF back into your Google Drive. Either way, it doesn't particularly matter. I'm just going to save it to my computer so that it starts downloading. Uh, you'll be asked to give it a name, so helpfully uh, you might just want to choose the name of your class and the assignment. And press OK. The PDF that you've created will start downloading. And once it's finished, you'll be able to open it up and you'll see that you have all of the worksheets for a whole class all completed in one go and all combined together, ready for you to print, mark, hand back to the pupils um, or archive in whatever way is most appropriate for the way that you are using Google Classroom in your particular teaching. 
I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you and answer any questions that you have.